everyone, it's Bretta Riches here from runfoot.com and today I'm going to talk to you about why it's so important to go barefoot before you go minimal. And I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but the reason I like to emphasize the importance of trying barefoot running to learn forefoot running is that I see so many minimalist runners in the Vibram Five Fingers heel striking and eventually they are going to get injured and then blame the injury on the shoes when in reality it's their heel strike running style that is damaging their body. To shed your heel strike running mechanical habits, you need to try running barefoot. So let me first talk about more about the prevalence of runners who heel strike in minimalist shoes. A new body of evidence suggests that minimalist running poses a special risk that is becoming too common in that uh, runners in minimalist footwear continue to heel strike rather than landing with a forefoot strike. A study by Larson 2014 determined the frequency of forefoot running and a heel strike landing pattern in a large population of barefoot runners and middlemist runners and they looked at these runners during a road race and the researchers found that almost 80% of the barefoot runners of course landed with a non heel strike landing so they landed closer to their forefoot. The vast majority of them around 60% of them ran with a very prominent forefoot strike landing. However, almost half of all the minimalist runners in this road race were heel strike runners. So this tells me that the real deal here is that many minimalist runners are in the dark about forefoot running. And this is probably one of the reasons why the whole minimalist movement has came and gone for many runners because these runners cannot prevent injury if they heel strike if they're wearing minimalist shoes because minimalist shoes virtually have no under heel padding. So the main side effect of minimalist running shoes is the same for all running shoes in that they cause sensory processing difficulties in the feet. And this is why minimalist runners continue to heel strike because they can't feel the ground as if they were able to if they were uh, running barefoot. Running barefoot is very critical because the barefoot plays a crucial role in the development of proper avoidance behavior. So you avoid heel striking because it hurts when you run barefoot. And recent studies have shown a link between barefoot running and greater sensory activity in the feet, which corresponds to the neuromotor capacity to avoid high impact landings associated with heel strike running. So a proper forefoot strike that is light in intensity is shaped by the nature of the stimuli that is produced between you know, the barefoot and the ground. And I really like what Dr. Stephen Robbins, who's an MD at McGill University, he's also a barefoot running advocate, he discusses the potential dangers of running in minimalist footwear without prior practice or experience with running barefoot. So the unfortunate part is that most runners are so tightly bound to their footwear and they without question won't consider going barefoot, but science is beginning to show that to reboot your running form, you need to practice barefoot running before you go minimal. If you choose not to run barefoot, then you really need to think about how you are landing on your feet when you run in minimalist shoes. So you really have to make the conscious effort to always make sure you're landing on your forefoot. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention in that if you are a minimalist runner and you're having a hard time adjusting to forefoot running, this is probably because the sensory input is blocked and this will cause your heel strike running habits to linger. So to kick these habits, you really want to try running barefoot every day, little by little, and feel the ground and learn to land on your forefoot. So for more information with how to run forefoot properly, please visit my blog, runforefoot.com, and have fun out there on the roads, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.